When you talk about being a feeling person and the importance of conveying that to others, something else you mentioned in the book is the importance of empathy in building team and rapport. So tell us a little bit more about that. Well, empathy is the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes, to be able to imagine how does that person feel? Where is that person coming from? The minute that I fail to see you as a fellow human being who wants, just like I do, to succeed and contribute to the whole, communication is going to break down and trust is going to break down. Empathy is the ability to actually connect with others because you are all working towards the same performance goal. We are all in this together. We are all human. We are all trying to do the best that we can. How can we support one another in reaching our goals? Now, this is not business as usual. We live in a very competitive world where people are thinking about themselves and often your success depends on pushing someone down or that's the way that it's perceived. This is a breakdown in empathy. But more and more people are having to operate as teams and more and more people are talking about connecting with the end user, connecting with the customer, connecting with the client. Now, how are you going to connect with a client if you can't empathize with them and really know what it's like to be them? S that begins at home. That begins in the office. When you are actually able to empathize with people and connect with them and work together towards a shared goal, then that same kind of empathy and connection is going to radiate out towards your users, your clients, your shareholders, your stakeholders. Why is storytelling so powerful? One of the things that many people in business are now saying is that story is powerful because it connects the head to the heart. People who are very customer centric are beginning to see that you can't only reach the customer's mind head mind, you've also got to reach their heart mind. Stories, as Daniel Pink tells us, are context enriched by emotion. Okay? We want to connect with people on this emotional level. We want them to open their heart. So what does that take? It takes empathy. It takes the ability to actually see the other person as human, just like you're human. So if you're going to just see the person as a role or as a function, you are not connecting mind with heart. And particularly on a team, like the story that Craig Kostelich from Condé Nast tells us, you know, that when Craig was a football player in high school, for that team to win, they had to be bonded, they had to be fused, they had to care about one another more than they even cared about themselves. And that took the ability to empathize with one another. He's bringing that same philosophy into the work environment. For us to function as a team and to really pull together and collaborate, we need to be able to see one another as fully three-dimensional. Uh, and that's tough for some people in the work environment because they see that as exposing yourself too much. So that's the way that the work environment now is having to transform because so much now is about connecting with the audience, that we're living in a, in a world that's so media heavy. We're all talking about connection. And you asked earlier, you know, how do you rise above it? How do you rise above all that white noise? Well, you rise above the white noise by touching people at the heart level. When someone gets moved, they get engaged. And when you tell a story that has a very distinct emotional turning point to it, when you talk about something that's meaningful to you, that happened to you, that you want to share with others as a way of passing a message along, that will touch people at the heart level. And that's what empathy is about. And from a listening perspective, empathy is about listening with an open heart rather than with a closed heart.